So let's imagine a patient named Kelly, a 24-year-old from Montana who was born with a congenital heart defect. She's had several surgeries in her lifetime, and her heart is still failing. Her quality of life is poor, she can't exercise, she gets exhausted easily, and she's on expensive medication. She's in dire need of a heart transplant. <clears throat> Currently, over 1,000 people die every year waiting for a heart transplant, and up to 70% of hearts that are donated go to waste in the U.S. alone. However, this is partially, or this is partially due to the limited distance a heart can travel in a six to eight hour implant window and partially due to the strict regulations put on transplanted hearts. But we can turn to clinical trials for help and there's currently clinical trials going on that accept hearts donate, donated for transplant that would normally be turned down. And these hearts are reanimated outside the body to evaluate their potential. And, but this begs the question, how do we know that a heart is good enough to give Kelly? My research addresses this question by incorporating a heart score into these systems. Currently, this is done through expert opinion, and my score will incorporate expert opinion as well as include things like previous scientific work published in literature, established correlations with patient outcomes, feedback from the preservation system itself, as well as live monitoring of the organ through things like pressure volume loops and metabolite levels. This research will help lead to improvements in clinical outcomes, the future automation of these preservation systems, and to better device testing for cardiac devices. This will help improve procedure efficiency, increase the number of patient outcomes being positive, as well as, most importantly, increase the number of patients receiving hearts. And this score is essential in the automation process of this system. Along with the need for complex controls and reliable machinery, the quantitative evaluation of the heart is essential for automation. And automation can be used to help ease the burden on those transplanting the heart, like perfusionists. Finally, through the translation of this research to in situ work, inside the body, we can better evaluate the function of cardiac devices from things like simple valve replacements to more complex systems like pacemakers to fully supportive therapies like LVADs, we can help evaluate the hearts on the assistance of these devices. But overall, this heart score will help patients like Kelly and the 3,000 others on the waiting list for transplants receive the hearts and care that they need. Thank you.